back to another wreck video covering the ever popular Pollock wreck, the Aristos. Sunk in 1967 and that was to a collision in the fog, so no torpedoes here this time. She's made of metal and she is an absolutely huge ship. 136 meters long, 17 high and 8 meters wide. This is a monster, this one. One of the biggest you're probably going to fish. And there's her position. Look on the av Navionics, it's just north of the yellow CS1 boy. Straight off of New Haven. Can't miss it. Now, right off the bat here, you can see a commercial fisherman's had a really bad day here. There is a whole set of scallop dredges and bar on this wreck, as well as other bits you're going to see through the video. But uh, yeah, someone, a poor hapless fisherman, has ploughed straight into this thing. And like I said before, it is an absolute monster, this wreck. It's huge. So they've actually left a whole set of gear on there. So as well as dealing with the wreck itself for snags, you've got to deal with that scallop bar as well. Lovely picture here of the side of this wreck. You, you know, it's quite a modern wreck, actually, to be fair, for 1967. And again, look, someone's dumped a whole trawl on here. They've gone plowing into that, lost a lot. So there's been some really bad days on this wreck. And you'll have bad days as an angler as well. Because this wreck is an eater, it is a grabber. You will lose a lot of lures on this wreck. I guarantee it. This is what me and my friend John call a fish or a wreck. Wreck. It's either you get a fish or you lose your gear. It's that snaggy. The reason is it comes up, it's the side of a ship. It's massive. It's, it's sat upright, this wreck. So it's literally gone down and sat on its keel. And it is bolt upright as if it was just sat on top of the water but it's not, it's sat below it. So as this one approaches, it's like hitting the side of a house. As soon as it comes into your sounder, you gotta be cranking that up, depending how you fish. I'm in it to win it, guys, so I'm down, I'm in, and that's me, and I do lose a lot of gear on this one, but that's how I fish. But if you're cautious, or you've got new people with you who maybe are not quite uh, as skilled at wreck fishing, I'd probably be very wary of this one because at the end of the day, you were going to lose a lot of money. Now, this is a really, because it is a new wreck, it's got its structure really, really well. And you've seen from the photo previously a minute ago, it's a really well-shaped wreck, this one. It, it was a, a massive, great sort of freighter steamship um, that's gone down. So it's a big side hulk of metal that's still got all its features. It's got all its doors, its rails, its gunnels. Now, this is a really good Pollock holding wreck, this one. Everybody out of Brighton or New Haven tends to hit this one quite hard it's just on the edge of the shipping lane it's a massive wreck and it does hold really good fish mostly pollock but you do get a lot of bass on it at times as well uh, so it's no secret this one is well known people tend to use it as their last stop wreck for those people that don't like venturing into the channel for whatever reason this tends to be as far out as they go and then they start working their way back in but because it's by that yellow CS1 boy, everyone sort of congregates to it and it does get hammered. And it's not unusual to find five, six, seven boats on this wreck sometimes. Uh, I've never anchored it for eels. I've heard rumours of some monster eels on it. It is a really big wreck. It has been down there. Not, not a while, but it's been down there long enough to get populated. Great shot here. I mean, look, it's got the life ring still on it. You can see the detail of this wreck. It's a really well positioned wreck. It sits with the tide as you're going to see on Navionics in a minute. Now, you get an idea of perspective here. Look, if you can look down, he's nowhere near the bottom. You're literally looking over the gunnels down to the bottom of the sea here. Um, going back to eels, I've heard rumours of a big eel on this or some big eels, but it's so popular, I don't think that many people anchor it. But, you know, if you've had a go on it for eels, let me know how you've done in the comments because I'm quite keen and interested. It doesn't look snaggy here. It looks like you can bounce over, but again... You're looking at down the side of the ship here, and he's actually scooting down the side. So, gravelly, sandy bottom. Uh, it may be worth drifting some baits down the side, I don't know. There is some turbot ground near here without disclosing information, um, but I've never drifted down the side of this wreck for turbot myself. Navionics view sits sort of with the tide here pretty much perfectly. If you get it on either the flood or the ebb, if you can get your drift lined up on one end, um, normally, depending on, I think on the flood tide, you have to come slightly south. And on the ebb, you come just to the north of the wreck. And then because of the way the tide runs, you get a full length run down this. Like I said, though, it is an absolute E to this one. Probably one of the worst out there for it. So take care, but good luck.